Hey everybody, Jeremy with Hyatt Training again. We are in week four of our top 10 tips for doing life better as we approach my 50th birthday and the 10th anniversary of Hyatt Training. We're really glad you're joining us again. So the first three weeks, we've talked about things in more general terms. We talked about mindset, we talked about strength work, and we talked about cardiovascular exercise. And as we move through the next segment of these top 10 tips, we're gonna to start to make things a little bit more specific to what I'm doing. Um, these are things that you might not ordinarily talk to your trainer about so I just want to give you some ideas of what I'm doing not that they're perfect not that I'm perfect but just that they might stimulate some conversations or thoughts for you in ways that you can uh, add little bits and pieces to your life and do life better so we're glad you're here here we go on stress management one of the things that's made a big difference for me is the kind of addition of stretching mobility work uh, into my regular programming. So for years and years, I just did my strength work or just did my cardio and didn't have to put much emphasis on the recovery stuff. The recovery stuff is obviously great for recovery and helping muscles kind of um, restore themselves. Um, but it's also, the biggest thing for me is it focuses my attention on breathing. And that breathing brings with it kind of a lot of relaxation techniques, lower blood pressure, um, and just kind of a general calming effect. And so I try to combine my stretching and mobility work with good breath work, which just kind of helps to downregulate the whole system. And so integrating that in on a daily basis, even for three to five minutes, just hitting a couple of different muscle groups can really make a huge difference. So a common stress management tool for a lot of us from time to time is alcohol. And um, that can cause a lot of other issues like bad sleep or worse temper, stuff like that. So trying to find ways to deal with stress that doesn't revolve around alcohol can be a great uh, way to change some habits and, uh, and manage things better. So two tips that we use is one, don't drink more days a week than you do drink. So if that balances towards the not drinking side, things are gonna be a little bit better. And then try to replace those habits. Um, oftentimes we come home, it's just a habit that we go right to the bottle of wine. Um, so instead we break that up with a fizzy water and lime. We use the soda stream and, um, and that kind of fits that habitual part uh, and helps us to manage things a little bit better too. So when I'm at my best, one of the things that I'm prioritizing on nearly a daily basis is meditation. And I've played around with all kinds of different styles and there's so many different ways to do it um, from apps to um, you know, YouTube videos and classes and coaches. Um, but the one thing that's really worked for me is uh, I use one song. My meditation is always the same. I use one song, it's a Miles Davis tune, it's super chill, but the sound of that song now puts me right into the state where I go into my meditation. And I use a simple box breathing method. So I focus on my inhale, a breath hold, an exhale, and then another breath hold. And I run through a series of two to five breaths or two to five counts on each one of those breaths. And by thinking about that, it kind of keeps me from thinking about everything else. My mind slips and wanders during the course of even those four minutes and 40 seconds that I'm meditating. And the process for me, meditation is just getting back to that focus on breathing. So it's not that I sit there with an empty mind for four minutes and 40 seconds, my mind wanders and slips, but I always bring it back to the breathing. And that process is really helpful for me in kind of regulating my stress levels and my blood pressure and all those things. So walking is the last thing that we're gonna talk about here. And this is where I try to carve a little bit of time out to be selfish for myself, um, to set some time aside, a bigger chunk of time, to do something that's just kind of focused on me. Uh, and that's okay, right? That's what we're trying to do here is manage these stress levels and take some time out for ourselves. So I think there's really kind of two ways that you can look at this. And one and the best way is to get outside. Um, even if it's raining, even if it's cold, there's a lot of science behind the, the benefits of being outside and Portland certainly has great places to do that whether it's parks or trails uh, get outside and walk just because of the nature of my job I usually don't have time to get out to the trails during the week but I do walk on the treadmill um, and I try to put in 30 minutes a day and again this is time for me and I think there's one of two things that work really well one is to do nothing and especially if you're outside leave the music behind leave the headphones behind and just kind of enjoy the sights and the sounds and the nothingness of being out out there and walking and then the other is to use that as a time to learn I walk on the treadmill I listen to the daily podcast every day it's a great
great show. I learn a lot from it. Um, and it, again, it's just kind of selfish time that I set out for myself. It's hard to carve that out every day, but when I do, I'm a better person for it. Thanks for joining us with this discussion about stress management. I think it's really important, and I think it's really important to recognize that we're all gonna have stress, right? So we wanna anticipate that, we wanna plan for that, we wanna have a method of dealing with that. Both good and bad stress can lead to feelings of overwhelm. If it's too much, it's too much. So be prepared, have a plan, and, and address it before it gets to be too big. To help with that, if you scroll down into the description, there's a stress checklist. It's 10 questions, and if your answer to more than four of those questions is yes, then things may be a little bit out of balance, and you may wanna to talk to somebody, you may wanna reach out to us, you may wanna take a look at how you might manage that stress in your life a little bit more um, effectively. Next week, we're gonna talk about uh, family life and social networks, so we look forward to you joining us then. Thanks.